The Texas CARES Antibody Survey. It's a program launched one year ago. It surveys thousands of people to learn more about how COVID spreads. KXN's Caitlin Carmoot has their latest findings. Just uh, pure curiosity to see if I have had COVID in the past. Leanne Tibbetts just recently found out about the Texas CARES Survey. Anything I can do to help with you know research against COVID um, in my mind is a, is a good thing. Texans from the Panhandle all the way down to the Rio Grande Valley are eligible to participate. So my father, who's in College Station, has participated as well. Now people are asked to commit to three antibody tests. They're each two months apart for a total of six months. It's a blood drawn test. Well, to take a look at the prevalence of people who have natural uh, antibodies and uh, also vaccine induced antibodies, but uh, uh, antibodies in general to the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Dr. Harold Cole and his team have found that roughly 30% of people surveyed have some evidence of COVID-19 antibodies. But there is one group that's showing very little evidence of having natural antibodies, children. They're found in only one out of three kids under the age of 18. Particularly troubling when 65 or 70% of the school age population has no antibodies and the younger kids are not yet able to be vaccinated. The Delta surge is a double edged sword here, but as far as the Texas survey goes, more people are interested in understanding if they have the antibodies. This is a public health issue and um, if we can do our part to mitigate this virus, then we'll certainly do what we can. Caitlin Carmo, KX so and and if you'd like to enroll, we have more information on our website. That's kxan.com.